What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're just doing a quick review and training guide for the new Showtime players Cristiano Ronaldo, Sarlot and of course Weghorst. Now this this is a new skill that they've added it's called bullet header but I'm going to talk a little bit about that and I'll talk about the new skill and whether it's worth it or not. Yeah honestly the players can be really really overpowered if you play a lot of crosses but a lot of people don't cross the ball in they do have a brand new Showtime skill called Bullet Header. We're going to get into their cards and show you the best training guides over on eFootballDB as well. I did spin for these, but we didn't get any luck in the two packs that we opened, the two 10 packs. They are in a pack of 150. Honestly, I think Ronaldo, when I've got Collar up front, I don't think that Collar is going to be replaced by these because Ronaldo is good in the air, but he's more of an all-rounder. Weghorst is too slow and, you know, similar to Collar. And then Sarlat is obviously kind of like the pick of him, I think, for just something a little bit unique. But yeah, he's got a couple of weaknesses as well, right? So we're actually going to start with this big beast here. 195 centimeters, 90 kg, 35 level. So there's a lot of room to go with him. They all have the same booster, which is aerial plus two. And they, of course, have the Showtime new skill, which is called bullet header. Now he has heading, long range shooting, acrobatic finishing, and aerial superiority as well as chip shot, long range curler, and rising shot. And first time shot and outside uh, curler as well, which is quite nice. Long range shooting. And he has a load of AI play styles as well. So we get into good dangerous areas for you. If you are crossing the ball in now, stunning crosses don't really work. I tested it out. I put in about 40 crosses. Normal crosses do work. You know, if you're using R2 to sprint, R1 and O is probably the best. If you set your body up and you, you track the run, nice. But it does take a bit of getting used to, especially if you're not used to crossing the ball in and you, and you spin one of these. But yeah, all of these cards have a similar kind of pattern and we're going to show you the builds here. So first up, we do have... The Villarreal man here, the Norwegian, he's got 7 into shooting, 4 into dribbling, 12 into dex, and 8 into lower body with 10 into aerial strength. That coupled up with the manager boost, whether you're using Alonso, whether you're using Tuchel, whether you're using whoever you're using, obviously the higher rated manager will give you more of a boost. You're going to have pretty much everything where you need it to be. Now he doesn't get to 90 finishing with this uh, build. So if you are struggling with that, you could obviously take off a little bit uh, of his dribbling there, or else you could take off one or two off his lower body if you don't want to go with that. To be honest with you, that's probably a slightly better build if you want to go that route and get the finish into 88. It's not going to make that much of a difference. You should be able to finish with 85 stat into your finishing for a guy like this anyway. But he's going to have 95 header, he's going to have 95 or 99 jump. And his physical contact is going to be into the high 90s as well, or the mid 90s. So it's a pretty okay card. I mean, next up we have Weghorst as well. And even if you're looking at this card, it's very similar. Obviously, there's similar kind of height, similar weight, similar kind of everything with him. Weghorst is actually a little bit more silky on the ball, which is kind of a bit mad because his tight possession is quite poor here, even boosted up. 9 into shooting, 3 into dribbling, 13 into dex, 7 into lower body and aerial strength. But that is going to give you 90 into finishing with the manager boost and his boost as well. You're going to be getting a plus 5 for finishing, heading, jump and physical contact. So it's a pretty decent card. You're going to have all those 4 main stats into the 90s, which is decent enough. Um, but yeah, his, his card, I think with the skills and stuff within this pack... Uh, I think for the main booster here is the target man. He does have soul control, chip shot, first time uh, shot, and one touch pass, as well as super sub and fighting spirit. So I think having this guy as a super sub is where you're going to really come to the fore with him, using him effectively, you know. Um, I think that a lot of the time, you know, people get these big cards or these cards that are target men that don't have great feet and they try and turn him into a Mario. Uh, and it just doesn't work. The game will just chew you up and spit you out. So there's no point even trying to play on the ground. These are literally target men, knockdowns, everything. That's all you need to do with these cards. You know, use if I'm using one of these cards, I'm literally hoofing the ball up, going long ball, even if I'm playing out wide or whatever, and just trying to get the end product into the player, right? So last but not least, we do have Cristiano Ronaldo. There's a couple of other good cards in this as well. Um, we do have Memphis Depay, who we got there. The rest of the cards here are only okay. But it is all probably about Cristiano Ronaldo. This is one of the best Ronaldo cards that they've released, just simply because he's got 34 levels. Is it better than his phenomenal finish in Showtime? I don't think so. But he does have fighting spirit and captaincy. And of course, he has first-time shot, acrobatic finishing, heading, bullet header, and long-range shooting with aerial superiority. It is nice card, knuckle shot as well as having all the play styles. He's got incisive run, speeding bullet, amazing run. So he's gonna he's gonna play a little bit better than his stats suggest. I mean, his player ID is gonna overtake a lot of his discrepancies with the card. And of course, you can train him up. I mean, you could give Cristiano Ronaldo's advanced double touch if you want. If you have three additional skills, flip, flap, soul control, and double touch. 
Or, of course, you could give him a couple of other shooting skills as well. Like, outside curler is one that he definitely needs. But this is the build that we've gone for to recommend to Cristiano Ronaldo's build here. It's three into shooting because you don't need more than that into his finishing. You are going to be able to get his max into that. Or, sorry, it was not three. It was a four, I think, uh, into shooting there. I think that's what we went for. I think that was it, what we went for there, actually, that build there. You're going to have 90 into his finishing stat. His offensive awareness is going to be really, really nice. His dribbling is going to be over 80. His tight possession is a bit weak. His balance is a bit weak. But that's probably where you need to go with this card. The biggest one with this Cristiano Ronaldo card, lads, because of his lack of speed and his lack of tight possession and actually on-the-ball dribbling compared to other cards of his, you do need to apply a lot into dexterity. That is for offensive awareness, to make him make the runs. The AI, if he has 90 in uh, attack and awareness or offensive awareness, he's going to be making really good runs. He's one of the best runs in the game, um, getting into the box into good areas. And then, of course, you're also going to have 90 finishing, 97 header. You're going to have 102 or 3 jump with the boost. And then the physical contact is going to be up at the 88 mark as well. So on top of that, you're going to have the speed, acceleration, kick and power. Very nice. A couple of weaknesses with this card, obviously, is his balance there. And, of course, his tight possession as well. You just can't really do anything to, to bring them up, right? But, yeah, overall, it's kind of a... I would say it's a very skippable pack. I've been beasting with Collar since the last update. They've definitely tuned up the headers, even away from players having this new Showtime bullet header skill. So, if you are used to playing with a target man, try out your favorite target man before you actually get this pack, I would say. If you guys want me to do the Continental Tournament Showtime as well with these three boys, and, of course, Mast Mbappe... Let me know as well, and I'll get on a video for that. Um, this Mast Mbappe is obviously a very unique card, you know, with the with the with the mask on him. And I know a lot of people have went for him. Is he better than other versions? Well, we can do a build and find out. James Rodriguez, Almo, and of course the Paul. Let me know if you want that video or if you're not too pushed. But that is the Bullet Showtime header review and training guide. I will see you guys in a little bit. Thanks for all the support so far. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here, and I'll talk to you in a bit.